Greetings, I'm Joe Valenti. Welcome to my kitchen table for another edition of Kitchen Table Politics for the week of January 11th, 2009. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of what we have going on this week, two things I want to mention in the last year's election for the presidential election specifically. I had two bets going on with two folks um, who I'm still waiting to collect on. Uh, first is uh, my good friend Tony Rostock who promised me a steak dinner if uh, Barack Obama won the primary against Hillary Clinton. So I'm still waiting to collect on that. He promised to take me up to Ruth Chris up at Mohegan Sun. So I'm eagerly waiting for my steak dinner up there. Next is um, another good friend of mine, Brian Corcoran, who, who said that Sarah Palin wouldn't make it to the general, that she would be dropped out, that the John McCain would drop her out of the, uh, as the VP. Obviously she made it, they didn't win, but Brian owes me uh, breakfast or lunch over at Agolino. So I'll be waiting to collect on that bet also, um, hopefully by the, uh, by the end of January. A lot going on in the county. Uh, it seems that the county commissioners are really mixing it up with some of the judges. Specifically, County Commissioner Steve Urban is throwing a, a shot across the bow with, with the retention vote. We have something written up this week about, you know, what was he thinking uh, with that and a little bit about uh, Marianne Petrella and, and how she's in the mix. Which brings us to our next point of P.J. Best, who's Got some good press this past week in the Times Leader, had a nice editorial written about him. This week he's a guest columnist and explains a little bit into detail about what home rule is. Be sure to check that out. A couple other things that we have going on this week is, there. last week there was some, uh, I wrote an article or, or speculating on some people who are going to be running in the Garden Village in West Pittston. That prompted some postings that prompted quite a few emails sent to me. So we decided to call Council President or have some email exchange with Council President Brian Thornton. So we have a little bit of the dialogue and he kind of sets the record straight what's going on specifically with the layoffs in the town and with what's going on with the street department because there were some rumors circulating that the West Pittston Street Department would be eliminated but he kind of set the, sets the record straight with that. Um, on the Pittston area side, I have, I wrote up this week about how some think that I'm kind of being biased on the east side in that school board race. Well, I'm not, and I don't really have a horse in that race at all. Be sure to read what I, my comments on that, and I think I'm being more, more than fair uh, when it comes to the, the, the east side. Finally, uh, we have another guest columnist, is my wife, Donna. And she wrote about something that she holds very closely to her heart on the Freedom of Choice Act uh, in, in that being Barack Obama's first order of business when he's inaugurated. She's been talking about this for quite a long time. Be sure to check that out. It's something that I think we all hold dear to our hearts. And if we all participate, maybe we can make a difference. Other than that, We'll, uh, we'll catch you next week. In the meantime, be sure to keep sending your emails. Be sure to post the posts. We enjoy them. We look through them. Nothing is looked over. Uh, my email is uh, pittstonpolitics at hotmail.com. Be sure to get me your cards and letters, photos, whatever you want to get over. If you have some videos you want to send over, send them over to me. and We'll take a look at them and hopefully we can get them up for you. In the meantime, have a good week. Until next week, this is Joe Valenti for Kitchen Table Politics. Welcome to my kitchen table and have a good week. Moving? Building a home? Need a place to store your belongings? Contact On Call Storage. We make moving and storage a lot less stressful and convenient, too. How does it work? It's simple. You'll get your own storage unit delivered right to your door. You pack it at your leisure and we'll transport it to our secure climate control warehouse. When you need your belongings back, just call and we'll bring it right to your doorstep. It's that easy. Contractors, we offer portable construction storage containers, too. Store all of your equipment and materials safely. Visit us on the web or call On Call Storage at 654-0221. We use On 
Conquest Storage because it's so easy.